What we'll be going over in this video tutorial is our connect embed UI component. So kind of like the connect button UI component, this is a component through the third web connect SDK that you can use that shows you the embedded option of our connect button. So instead of showing you the button first and a user has to click on it and is then shown these options here with the connect embed, we can just show the open modal automatically already. So if you want to create something like a sign in or login page and you don't want it to have a button, but just display the actual methods that a user can connect their wallet, you can use the connect embed. So this is the default connect embed here on the left. We have prioritized in-app wallet first. So things like social login, email, phone number, pass key. And if you come down here, you can hit connect wallet and you can still connect a Web3 wallet and we support over 350 Web3 wallets. So a user can come in here, search the wallet that they are using and you can connect a user's wallet through there or again, create them a wallet through our in-app wallet way. So if they hit a pass key, I'm just going to use my pass key here. We're going to uh, sign in and you can see automatically um, they're all connected. So once we connect a wallet, we can then prompt a connect button and since this is using third webs connect SDK, once there is a wallet connected, the connect button automatically shows the connected state of the button. So we can display the connect button once a user has logged in and they'll still get all the features and functionality of the connect button. When they disconnect or sign out, it is still the connect embed option. So great for again, creating like a login or sign up page for your users. If you want to check out a video on our connect button UI component, we'll drop that down in the description below, but you can check that out. We're going to be covering a few things from creating the default and implementing the default connect embed to customizing the wallets that get shown to even customizing the look and theme of the connect embed, as you can see in this last example here. So it's the same thing as this first one, but we changed the fonts and colors around um, in here. So we'll show you how you can customize the look and feel of the connect embed to match the branding and everything of your Web3 application. Hey everyone, Sean Watasa here back with another tutorial video. And in this video, like we mentioned in the demo earlier, we're going to be looking at the connect embed UI component from third web. Now this UI component is again, going to give you the open connect modal version of our connect button. So instead of showing you the button first, we're just going to display and provide you with the modal where a user can then connect their Web3 wallet or sign in using in-app wallet with methods that they're familiar with. An overview of what we're going to be doing in this video, we're first going to just take a quick look at ThirdWeb's documentations around the connect embed UI component. Then we'll jump into the code and show you how to actually implement the connect embed into your Web3 applications. Throughout this video, we'll be using our course repo. So you can check down in the description below. You can clone the repo and follow along or take a look at the code snippets that we're going to go through in this tutorial video. But with all of that being said, let's jump on the computer here and let's take a look at the documentation first. So right here on my computer, I'm in the third web documentations for the connect embed. We'll link this down in the description below if you want to go ahead and read it yourself. But just a quick overview of the connect embed. It is a rendered UI component. Now, just like the connect button, we're going to be rendering a component where a user can connect their Web3 wallet to your application. But instead of showing them a button that they need to click first to open the modal, the connect embed presents you with the open modal right off the bat. So great for things if you want to create like a login or sign in page, uh, you can create a page, have a show the connect embed and just have a user select the wallet and then navigate them to your application. Uh, we'll also be checking out the, the connect playground here, uh, which is a great way to visually see the theming and customization of your connect embed. And then we can just copy the code snippet and paste it into our code. So with that being said, let's jump into our code editor here. Let's take a look at our project and see how we can implement the connect embed into it. So right here, I have my course demo open. Now, if you folks want to follow along, you can head down to the description below. We'll add a repo and a branch where we will be removing all of the components and you can follow along with this tutorial, or you can check out the main repo and and just visually see the code that we are going to cover in this tutorial here if you want to learn more about implementing the connect embed button. But if you are going to follow along here, we're going to be working in the connect embed folder and we'll be going to the page.tsx file. In here, you'll see some code already. This is just laying out the different components we're going to work with. We haven't added any of the embed buttons or UI components yet. So what the project should look like is this right over here. We'll have our header with our title and everything. We'll have the three different customizations we're going to go through. And then we have our footer right over here. 
So in my code editor, I'll just quickly go over again the code that you see. So we have our header here, which is just an image and a title and a description of the connect embed. And then we have a footer down here that has just some links to our YouTube videos and GitHub. So you can check those out. Uh, we have our connect embeds here in the middle, which we have this component here, which is going to have our default connect embed, our custom wallet and our custom theme. And those are the three different steps that we're going to walk through in this tutorial. So we'll start off really simple here and we'll start off with the default connect embed and the connect embed is really quite easy to implement. All we need to do is add the connect embed component here from the third web react SDK. And in here, we just need to provide it with the client and we're going to provide it with our client from our client.ts file. And if you aren't familiar or if you haven't watched our getting started with third web video yet, we'll link that down in the description below. When you create a new project with third web, either using our CLI or if you install the third web SDK into your project, you're going to create a client.ts file to create a third web client, which is going to utilize your client ID or your third web API key. That is where we are getting the client from. Again, if you want to watch that video, we'll drop it down in the description below. But with that, we have our connect embed. If we save that and come back to our project here, there you go. You're going to wait for that connect embed to load. And that's how easy it is to add the connect embed to your application. Now, the thing with the connect embed versus the connect wallet, now there's one thing I want to mention, and it's the differences between the connect embed and our connect button UI component. So if you watch our connect button UI component video, we'll link that down in the description. When you connect a wallet, you get a connected state of the component. Now connect embed, because it isn't a button, you're not going to get a connected state. You're just going to get this modal right over here. So what happens? So if I connect a wallet, let's just say with my pass key here, I'm going to be connected, but I'm not going to have any component or anything over here showing that I am connected. Now you can create your own, you can use our SDK to retrieve the connected wallet address, all of the information of the connected wallet, but the connect embed is not going to show you a connected state component like the connect button does, but we can use the connect embed and the connect button hand in hand. So maybe if there is a wallet connected, we display the connect button in its connected state. Now, because we're using the third of SDK, it'll detect any wallet that is connected to your application. And we can do this using a hook here. We're going to create a variable first. We're going to call this account. And we're going to use the use active account hook here from third web react. And what use active account is going to do is going to return us back the connected account and the details of the wallet. Now, if there is no wallet connected, it's going to return as undefined. And we can use that to check and see if there is a wallet connected or not. And below this, we can say if there is an account, so if there is a wallet connected, we can now show a connect button component. So say connect button here, and it will provide this connect button with our client. So what this does now, if we come back to our application, it's going to notice that there is a wallet connected to our app. And instead, it will show the connect button in the connected state. So it's going to show me my pass key wallet that I created over here. So I disconnect, it's going to get rid of the connect button and show us only the connect embed. So again, if you want to show that connected state UI component, you just need to plug in the connect button. It'll register and recognize that a wallet is connected and that it will show the connected state for that wallet. So again, if I sign in with our pass key here again, It'll connect and then this is now showing the connect button UI component. And then you get all of the functions and features that the connect button has to offer in the connected state. So that is the default connect embed right over here. It does have in app wallet prioritized here. So it's going to show you things like social login, email, phone number, pass key. And then of course, down here at the bottom, you can connect your web through wallets. Next thing we're going to go over is how can we customize the wallets that get displayed in our connect embed? Maybe we don't want to provide in app wallets and we want to provide just a list of web three wallets a user can connect with. We're going to come back to our code editor here and we're going to scroll down and we're going to head into the custom wallets embed. And this is where we're going to create our connect embed, but we're going to customize the wallets that we actually want to display there. So I'm going to actually co copy the connect embed and the account section here. So we're going to copy that. Uh, we're going to copy our account variable here with the use active account. There we go. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a variable here called wallets and wallets is going to be an array 
of wallets that we want to display in our list of wallets. Now to create a wallet, we're going to use the create wallet here from third web wallets. And we need to provide it with the wallets that we want to um, list. So here you can see we have over 350 supported wallets. You can just type in the URLs here. So we're going to say MetaMask. So .io or io.metamask is going to give us MetaMask. Uh, maybe we want to do a Coinbase wallet. Um, so in this one, we're going to do com dot uh, Coinbase dot wallet and maybe we want to do some other wallets here. So maybe we want to do create wallet. Uh, let's say uh, com dot uh, Ronin chain wallet. Uh, we can put that in there too. So we can create an array of wallets and you can just again in that array put in the wallets that you want to display. Now the wallets will display in the order that is displayed here. Uh, so we'll just take a look at this. We'll go in our connect embed. We'll add the wallets and we'll add our array of wallets there. And now if we come back to our app, our demo right over here, you see we got rid of in-app wallet. So it's not prioritizing in-app wallets here. And it's just going to show the Web3 wallets that we have right over here. So we have MetaMask, Coinbase, and we have Ronin wallet here. We still give the option to view any of the Web3 wallets, but the ones that are displayed are the ones that we added into our array of wallets. And if I take Ronin wallet here, uh, take that out and paste that above Coinbase wallet and save that. We come back, it will organize it again in the order that you um, add them into your array. So you can add your list of wallets there. So come back here and we can also add uh, recommended wallets. And what recommended wallets will do is give it the subtext of recommended. So let's create a, uh, another variable for recommended wallets, which will be another array here. And let's just say we create a wallet and it's going to be the dot Coinbase uh, wallet is our recommended wallet here. And then if we come back down into the connect embed, we can just add recommended wallets and provide it to the array of recommended wallets. And then when we come back here, you can see Coinbase is now tagged with the recommended wallet. So we can actually just take Coinbase here. We'll just uh, cut that. Maybe we want it at the top because it's our recommended wallet. Come back here and you can see Coinbase is now above Ronin wallet. Uh, it's always going to prioritize any installed wallet uh, first. So because I have MetaMask here installed in my browser, it's prioritizing that because it recognizes it. But then it'll give you the options of your recommended uh, and the list of your other wallets down below. So again, you can customize the list that is shown over here and your users will always have the option to select any of the 350 plus wallets that we support. So that is how you can customize those wallets within the connect embed option. And then finally, we're going to look at how we can theme and customize the look of our connect embed. So we're going to come down to the custom theme connect embed here. I'm just going to copy the uh, connect embed and accounts and everything from our default section again. So I'm just going to paste that right in here. And then we're going to get our accounts here using the use active account. So again, I just uh, copying the basic connect embed and then we're going to go over how to theme it. Now, before I start adding the theme in here, we actually have a playground that you can go and play with to visually see the customizations that you can make to the connect embed. So if you look at the documentations here, you'll see the playground and we can head over to the connect button the playground. And that will bring you to the connect playground here where you can customize and visually see what you can do with the connect embed and connect button. So over here, you can, you know, toggle some of the wallets. Maybe you want to see certain wallets here. Uh, you can hit a star to make them recommended. You can turn on and off uh, in app wallets here. You can turn on and off account abstraction. You can go through all of those things here. Uh, so if we change into compact view, this is what our connect embeds look like. Um, so again, you can configure the wallets. Then we can go to appearance here. And over here, we can see uh, the modal here says uh, connect. And maybe we wanted to say uh, hello. Maybe we don't want the third web branding. Maybe we want a different icon. We can put in the image of our icon here that shows up. Uh, in replacement for that third web icon. Uh, we can customize all these different things. We can come to the theming. Uh, we can also change the color. So let's just say background color here. Maybe we want it to be blue. Text here, you can see secondary text. Maybe we want this to be a darker blue. So you can go through this. You can customize everything here. You can go through all the different areas that you can customize from the borders to the secondary text to 
the icon colors, all of those options you have right over here to configure and you can visually see the changes here in the playground. Once you're done, you can actually come into here under the code snippet. And what you can do here is just take the theme here um, of your settings. Uh, you can just copy that and I'm just going to come here back to my code editor and under the connect embed, I can just add my theme. I'll make sure I'll import the dark theme here. For this one, there is no drop down background because it is not the button. So I'm just going to say modal and secondary text here. And if I come back to my project demo here, there you go. We have the theming and everything that was applied to my modal in here as well. We can change things um, like show third web branding. We can set that to false so we can come back here. We can remove the branding, everything on the bottom. We can also change the font family as well. So if we come here under a theme outside of colors, we can say font family and maybe we want to change this to a, um, a serif font. Uh, we can come back here and there you go. We can change the font family and everything and you can theme and customize the connect embed to match the branding and the, the theming of your web three application. So you have a nice seamless feel to it. And again, all of this here, uh, if we sign in, so it still works as normal. If we go with our pass key, what we're going to see is the connect button, because again, we're checking to see if a wallet is connected. And if it does, then we show the connected state of the connect button. And again, if you haven't watched our connect button UI component video, we'll link that down in the description. You can check that out and learn a whole bunch more about the connect button. And there you have it. That was a quick tutorial video going over our connect embed UI component. Again, the connect embed UI component is similar to the connect button UI component where it is going to allow a user to connect their wallet to your application. But instead of providing a button to open the modal, we'll provide them the open modal right off the bat. So if you wanted to design something like a sign in or login page, this is a great UI component for that use case. Again, though, when you do connect a wallet with the connect embed, it does not give you a connected state component like the connect button does. So you do have to still use the connect button, but within the third web SDK, it'll notice that a wallet is connected and it'll show you the connected state of that button. So I hope this tutorial gave you a better understanding of what the connect embed UI component is and how you can use it. If you did find some value in this video and you did like it, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on more tutorial videos just like this. If you need any help or support, we'll add the links to the resources and everything down below. We'll also add a link to our support team where you can open up a support ticket and it can help answer any of your questions that you may have. But again, I hope you folks found value in this video and until next time, see ya.